Hi Sagittarius, this is Kelly from Moon Pie Tarot. This is your How the Other Person Feels About You reading for Sagittarius Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. This re reading may or may not resonate with you. You can check your other signs if you need more clarity. Or if you'd like a personal reading, please go to moonpietarot.com and book your personal reading there. Or you can download the Instant Go app from your iPhone app store and request a reading from me there. I will have it for you within 24 hours. It's instantgo.com slash moonpietarot. You can also follow me on Facebook and Instagram under Moon Pie Tarot for daily guidance. Okay, Sagittarius, let's get started with your reading. I've already shuffled the cards, both, well, the first set I've already shuffled. I am using the Vampire Tarot for clarification for October. So, Sagittarius, this is for those of you who have someone on your mind, whether you're involved with them or not, even if you're single, dating, in a relationship, spouse, partner, whichever. So the first card here is showing the position of what you may be hearing from this other person. And there's heart to heart conversations. So I feel like there's somebody, whomever you're thinking about, would like to really get to the matter of something or they would like to have a conversation with you. It could be about traveling to meet each other or seeing each other it could be about uh, progressing a situation or moving forward in a relationship or maybe even beginning to date and the ton of wands in reverse it could also be for some of you someone could be telling you that they um, maybe they are they want to avoid conflict. They want to get out of a conflicting situation. Either they are in a situation with another person or a situation with you could have caused a lot of conflict and now they're trying to get away from that energy. The Ten of Wands in the reverse, I feel like is someone who's avoiding responsibility. So you could be dealing with someone who is maybe will maybe they will say to you that they've been avoiding the relationship for a particular reason or avoiding you or maybe they will come to you and express that they feel that you've been avoiding them uh, maybe you have been just not present or not available or vice versa now in the position of how they feel about you, they're the playfulness card. So to recapture romance, allow your inner youthful spirit to, allow your inner youthful spirit of fun to shine. So I feel like this person is probably feeling either that you are a very playful type of person or that they wish to have that kind of energy with you. The Ace of Wands, that's definitely a playful energy. It's a very passionate energy. You could have this person be wanting to have this new beginning with you or they want to enjoy or spend time in your playful energy. You could be someone who's just very adventurous or someone, someone who likes to do things or always go places. Um, you, they feel you have like this adventurous energy type of attitude and the eight of pentacles in the reverse so you know it's really just kind of not being serious really not they just want to i feel like someone just this person just wants to spend time with you and enjoy very light energy with you uh, nothing too serious they even if this, you were hoping for someone to be serious that could come later it's it's really sorry siri likes to go off it's really just them really keeping it light and and they also viewing you as having that that just fun to be around you're just fun to be around and they like that about you and that's really how they feel about you in their mind you have the true love card and the two of swords in the reverse so you know i feel like this person when they think about you they think about you know how much fun you are and how much they it's like a it, like they really feel the romance 
when they think about you. This is the Romance of a Lifetime card. The Two of Swords in the reverse. I feel like they've decided about you. You know, um, that they just have this energy where it's like, maybe before they were trying to figure things out and now they're just, they look at you and they think, yes, definitely. Um, you make them feel strong. You make them, you bring out good vibes and good energy with, with them. When they're around you, you make them happy. That's how they feel. The Eight of Swords, when it's in the upright, is someone who's like a self-imposed prisoner. But when they're with you, it's in the reverse. And they feel free. Now, how they're behaving towards you, they have romantic feelings. So they could be coming across that you know, maybe reaching out to you or wanting to spend more time to express, to explore how they feel. And the justice card is here. So they want to balance things out, make things right. Six of pentacles in the reverse, they want to give. And they want your time. Okay. Now in the position of what's external to them, and this would be you, it is safe for you to love. Open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all. So it's time for you to maybe let this person in. Some of you could be dealing with an earth sign, Capricorn, Virgo, or Taurus. Doesn't have to be, but could also be your energy where you have, maybe you're ready to stabilize a relationship or you're ready to open yourself up. You're still a little bit guarded. When you look at this queen of pentacles, she's still kind of guarded here. She holds that that pinnacle up right in front of her chest because she it's like she's not too sure. You may not be too very sure about this particular person. So you may, you know, uh, yeah. It's funny when I look at her face. She's just like, oh yeah, really? Are you sure? <laughs> so she's kind of like, mm. you're a little bit guarded with this person for some reason. The Ten of Swords in the reverse. Maybe this was someone who betrayed you in the past and it's time for forgiveness. Um, or you've just basically felt betrayed in the past in other relationships. And that is what keeps you a bit guarded. But it's saying it's safe for you with this person. So the outcome, finances and career financial issues are a factor in your love life right now so this could be a situation someone that you work with you could be very focused and they are very focused on work the ace of cups in the reverse so it's going to take time for this situation or relationship to get off the ground because there is a heavy duty uh, focus on work right now for for both of you okay you're both extremely um, you're putting your career first before the relationship, both of you, but there is still this energy of, you know, wanting to, at least the other person wanting to be with you or come forward to try to get to know you better. Or, you know, I feel like they really want to open themselves up to you. The five of swords in the reverse they're not trying to control the situation. They're letting things be, but they are making themselves or will be making themselves known and present to you during this time. They are not, I don't feel like this person has a controlling energy with the five of swords in the reverse. And I feel like this situation between the two of you, however it evolves, it will just evolve naturally. There won't be any force. So it's good for you to let go and just open yourself up to see what they, this person has to offer. Okay, Sagittarius, so that was your reading. I hope you enjoyed it, and uh, I will see you next month. All right, take care. Bye.